Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Into the Breach. Uh, last time, we just couldn't get that group to work, so here we are with a new group. Um, this one's gonna be tough because of the unstable mech, the lightning mech. Like, the like the two of them just do damage all over the place. And as much as I'd like to have the unstable mech just wreck face everywhere, and this group does a lot of damage, by the way, um, it does come with a small problem that uh, the unstable mech will likely kill itself a great deal of the time. So, uh, with that said, I'm feeling pretty dark right now. I could use a morale boost. Let's go for black mechs in this case. Looks cool on an, in an edgelordy kind of way. We're going to try again for this three island victory. And we'll see what we get. Um, I don't have very many high hopes, but I'm sure we can manage to do something. So, we got Henry Kwan back with us. And if we go for the building chain, this mech will hopefully do a lot of good work for us. Um... Currently, Henry Kwan's been through a lot of garbage, so hopefully it ends up being fine. Now, with that said, uh, our poor unstable mech could use 1 HP, like, as fast as possible. I'm going to go ahead and take Esther Perez out of that mech, because I have a strong feeling it's going to die. And we'll start off here. So the reason why we're starting off here is because we have a passive increase uh, of damage thanks to Storm Generator. And this is the one place in the world where Storm Generator is actually going to work. Um... Because there's so much dust. Anyway, Terraformer seems like a strong start. Let's go with it. Uh, again, hopefully we do a little bit better this time. We do have artillery, which is nice. Uh, we have a very actually balanced group, which is uh, which is like very cool to see. I'm hoping it actually works in our favor. Now the Terraformer does make this mission equal parts dangerous and easy, especially this turn. Um. So what we're going to do is move here and blast. But we're not going to do that before we do this. Then we're going to get this guy to go over here. Perfect. Now, our unstable mech. We can't really do that much. Um, because if we take damage, it's going to just end badly. So what I'm going to do is... I can't dust anything, huh? And I set myself up over, over here. And over here. With, hopefully... The chance that they'll set up down here, or off to the left, or upside. If I can manage to set the uh, upside, like leave the uh, terraformer targeting up for the, like the last terraforming turn, that would be ideal. And the reason why is because I kind of want those two mountains to stay there for as long as possible. Or at least this one mountain. Okay. I mean, like... That's fine and all, but... Now, this is actually a sensible first move. Yeah, I like this. He'll die blocking the spawn, which is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, I don't see a better time to get rid of an Alpha Scorpion than right now. Alpha Scorpions have proven to be, like, absolutely hell. And then, because it doesn't matter which one gets the kill here... Uh, actually, it does kind of matter. But I'd like to avoid using the cannon for as long as possible on this unstable mech. Um... And you know what? We'll set up here. Hopefully keep whoever is spawns up in this tile. On this side of the terraformer. And then we'll get a nice sideways kill on them. We, it seems like we have an extra turn with this terraformer, by the way. Not something I expected to have happen. But it does seem like we do have an, an extra turn. So keep that in mind as much as possible. We do have the ability to use the terraformer this way and do some work at the same time. So we'll do that. There we go. And, yeah, I was correct. There is no extra turn this time. I was silly to even think that that was a chance. Okay, you move over here. So you're going to block that spawn. Um, and how about we move over here with our unstable cannon. And just take it easy. I would also like to make sure that there are as few spawns as possible next turn. So they are only going to have one extra unit next turn. Their scorpion is going to die this turn. Yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. Thank you. Alright, so how do we deal with this then? Well, our terraformer does the one move it needs to do. That's now dealt with. Um, if we move over here and then get our unstable mech to just kind of go gablow, that's pretty sweet. Uh, then we get a kill. Doesn't really matter who gets the kill in this case. And then, um, yeah, that's that. We managed to do okay. So this, this little group of ours does a ton of damage. We can do six damage in a turn. 
But because of the uh, nature of the unstable mech, we do have to be careful and maybe go for a very early uh, point in HP. So, I mean, the other options we give... Oh, right. He doesn't have HP. He has mech move and mech reactor, which are arguably better uh, in almost every sense. We don't want to block the Vec from spawning three times. I'd rather go for kills. So let's go for the restricted area one here. And we have no idea where the Cataclysm is spawning to start off with. So how about we lure them into a trap over here to begin with? Right. We'll lure them into a trap over here to begin with and see where the Hornets land. And then from there, we'll manage. So the problem with Cataclysm is that when there's three Hornets that spawn, I get to be a little bit mad. Alright, so it seems like they're going to divide this down the middle. Which is not ideal. Um, here's an easy one. We get a Hornet kill there. If we go over here and then blast, we'll get a kill off on that Hornet. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd rather go for the easy kill earlier on. Perfect. And then finally, push you back, deal you two damage. Lots of good stuff on this first turn. But again, it would be nice if they didn't spawn like a million hornets. It'd be ideal if we had some land-based units. Oh good, it had to be two scorpions. Yeah, I just had to open up my great big mouth, didn't I? Okay, so there's a lot of little things going on here that I'm not fully positively happy about, but you know what, we'll manage. Uh, I know that we'll manage because I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna blast like so. Which practically gets a double kill. Now can you move into place to deal with this scorpion. No, you can't. This scorpion will get a shot off. We'll have to reset the turn. We have to rethink this again already. That was fast. Alright, so if I move here... Is this worth it? It will kill my unstable mech. Like, 100%, it'll kill it. But I don't really care. Because of the fact that it's an AI. So that's fine. Then we get this whip. And it'll do a lot of good work for us. Yep. That's fine by me. Then we'll get this kill. Ooh, undo that move. We'll get this kill by shooting like this instead. And then let the cloud do the work. So unfortunately, this mech is now gonna die. But at least we already saw this in advance. We have a sacrificial pawn in this case. Goodbye. Alright, and three more spawns. And three more cataclysms. Aye. So, I kind of hate this. This is going to force us. Oh my lord, we can't do this without... What is going on? No, we can do this. We can do this. Don't be stupid. Be a smarty. Um, deal with that this way. Then shoot the cloud the other way. There we go. So now he can't attack. We'll tank this shot, and that's fine by me. The Cataclysm will go off. We only have two mechs now, so we do have to be very careful about how we go about this last turn of ours. We also want to get another kill. An alpha Firefly and then another Firefly. A little, little gross. Hold on. So this guy attacks. If we don't tank it, then we're going to have a very bad time. Alright, so here's what we have to do. You zap him. Then you move in the way of this shot, and you blast him into the chasm. That's the best we've got. It's sad, but true. Still, it worked out. We managed to get all the objectives on this island. Yeah, you know what? I'll take the win. I'll take the win. That was a good mission. We didn't take any real grid damage either. We got another time pod. Is it a pilot? No, I mean, yes, it's Abe. <gasps> it's Abe! That is the perfect pilot for this mech. 
<laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> it's actually perfect! We could not have asked for a better pilot! Alright, so what do you got so far? Nothing? Alright, um, this is great. This is actually amazing. Destroy at least two mountains, kill at least seven enemies, protect the emergency batteries. Okay, um, I think we can do this one. Where could we use a core? Honestly, there's a number of different places where we can start to get cores. Putting damage onto this rocket artillery, it's honestly four cores for four, for like two additional damage. For, that's pretty good. Uh, we can get four cores for two additional damage here, but it increases the self damage as well. For now, it seems like our best damage options are either to put in our lightning mech or to put in our rocket mech. But either way is not fantastic right now. Um, what's almost more important is that I manage to make sure that this guy is moving faster. So we can get him into more places. So I'll, I'll increase his move. Let's see what we can do with this. Alright, this is already kind of a gross start, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, we'll put these guys on the flanks. We need to get rid of two mountains. I don't know the fluff reason for it, but we do need to waste two turns effectively. Okay, and we have some problems already. Okay, here's a good start. Boom. We don't need to worry about that anymore. If I move a little closer, and I use this unstable cannon, I can do this, move in the way, and then zap him for what's left. Yeah, that was fine. We're gonna take one damage from this guy, but overall, good start. We've killed two of our five, like two of the seven enemies we need to kill. We still need to get rid of some mountains though, and we only have a couple of guys that can do that easily. Oh goodness. What a weird turn. Uh, not an, not an impossible turn by any stretch of the imagination, but like it is looking a little weird. If I do this, it'll kill him and break open a mountain. And that seems more than reasonable. I don't see any glowing sticks in there, so that should be fine. Uh, we're going to want to move here and then blast backwards. Abe's now leveled up. What you get? Plus three grade defense. Ugh, it's fine. It'll have to do. You're still the perfect pilot for that mech. Literally could not have asked for better. And on this turn, right now, currently looks pretty great. So, we destroyed one out of the mountains. We've blocked a spawn, which might not have been wise, but it means that this spawn, there'll be a burst of enemies and we'll deal with it, I hope. Um... Goodness. Like, isn't this just a lot of garbage? Undo the move. So, we're not able to deal three damage with one unit yet. That is actually proving to be a nuisance. No way I can slam anyone into rocks this turn either, huh? Alright, we've got the two extra enemies that we need to kill on this battlefield already. So if we block some spawns, probably not a bad decision, really. So you're down to three. We could get a kill next turn fairly easily if we just... Yeah, if we just stay here and zap him good. Now, next turn, we're gonna want to break a mountain and do a, what else? Kill off at least one more enemy? Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, I think we can do those two things right now. Perfect. All right, so we managed to get this far along. Got all the kills that we needed. I don't see any glowy parts in there. I don't see any glowy parts in there either. See, the, 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 thank you, RP Varela, by the way, for that particular comment, but apparently, uh, even when I'm looking for the glowy parts in mountains and stuff, I don't see them. 
Anyway, it doesn't matter. We managed to so far keep our perfect island alive. That's solid. Yeah, I understand. Uh, plus three grid defense on both sides. Like Esther, get back, get in there. <laughs> it's probably better for us. Um, all right, we could go for a lot of power on this one, and that doesn't seem bad. But I'm beginning to wonder. What would happen if we gave us the ability if we gave ourselves the ability to do three damage? Plus one damage each. It it doesn't seem like a big deal until you realize that effectively Abe would easily kill himself. I don't want that though. If I had another reactor core, I would gladly, gladly put it into HP right now and damage. But we don't have another one, so this will have to do for now. Um Defending the train seems hard. Ending the battle with less than four mech damage could be difficult. Like this is this is just the right choice. Like the the benefits of getting this one done correctly are astounding. I think this is the correct setup. Okay, that's a bad start. But low. I kind of hate this. <laughs> Hold on, undo move. Um, it might be within our best interests to actually assassinate this dude as fast as possible. Which we'll do like so. Uh, you'll have to blast him backwards. So we're gonna take one grid damage. I don't think there was really a way to do any, like, to do that other, like, any other way. But we're gonna have to avoid taking any additional grid damage, because otherwise it's gonna suck really bad. Ay. Okay, like, this needs to stop. I kind of hate scorpions right now. Um... Okay, honestly, if you just move here for me, please, and block that shot, that'd be ideal. Then if we can't kill you, who goes first? The freaking Firefly goes first. Sign me up. We actually accidentally came up with the best turn imaginable. Snap Hornet, then the Firefly kills him. Ooh, the extra block is also pretty sweet. Now, could I stop dealing with this garbage, please? I'm lo I'm very happy, by the way. I just want to make this abundantly clear. I'm very pleased that uh, our unstable mech is doing what it's doing. Like, it's actually stupendous. But I just want to make things abundantly clear that I don't appreciate that one scorpion at the beginning of the game being such a douche canoe. That was awful. He wouldn't... He just... He was positioned all the time to keep my unstable mech off the, you know, off of whatever it actually wanted to do. Now, uh, in this particular situation, we actually have a neat couple of tricks we can do, I think. You only have two HP. If I do this, I'll kill off my own artillery. That's not good. And if I move you... Hold on. We can get a kill here. No problem. Then I shoot backwards. Because I can. And then, because I like the idea of just ricocheting shots all over the place. <laughs> yeah, that was fine. Turned out okay. Turned out okay. I was scared for a minute. And then I was petrified. But then I remembered that with Abe on my team and by my side, after having spent so many nights thinking how they did me wrong, it's a scorpion leader! You've got to be kidding me. All right, so... um. We're honestly just going to keep the unstable mech on this side. And the reason why is because... Oh my god, this is such a garbage layout. Uh, and the reason why is because if the scorpion mech's going to go anywhere, I would like to have my most damaging mech, who's capable of dealing with it on his own, the closest to him. Now, um... Ooh hoo hoo. Yeah, we're gonna have to do it this way. Killing off the Scion, then shoving this guy to the side, then moving here and blasting like so. 
It's not perfect, but it's a decent amount of damage, and we got rid of the Scion that we were going to see anyway. So, now what? It's another Scorpion, and it's this big dude. Alright, we've only got one other person that can actually deal with him in the game right now. You can kill him. Of that, I have no doubt. Now, I'm glad that we actually have an artillery this round. This is going to allow us to get the kill that we so righteously need. Is there anywhere else I can move him? Yeah, but... It's, no, this is the only place we can really move him, unfortunately. Alright. Good job, Abe, for that 7 uh, experience kill. We only have one scorpion to have to deal with this next turn. Um, that one scorpion can move to attack a building, though. It attacked Abe instead, thank goodness. Okay, what about you? What can you do this turn? If I'm being honest... You just... Just keep shooting people. Like, it just it makes sense. I would ideally like to kill him. Is there a way for me to do it without killing off my own artillery? Not... Not easily. Okay, uh, I, I would reset this turn, and in fact I will, in an effort to try to get things to set up better this time. We need to move you farther back, Esther. Uh, you go over here. You're now down to one, which is easy to deal with. I can now kill off this dude here, no problem. And then you can shoot him off as per usual. This is a much better way of doing things, because now you're whippable. And since the closest target you have is a whippy boy, I don't care. What's this? Oh, please. Yes! That's what I like to see! <laughs> <Hoo -hoo> <laughs> That was great. Alright, and you can get the kill here, no problem. And then Esther, you can just move far enough to get the kill here. We exterminated them. That was perfect. Alright, so we have a good team. It's just a little direct. We're going to need to think of some uh, ways of increasing our ability to attack from the sides. Bethany Jones, the shield is pretty good. Uh, at the very least... It's better than our th than uh, having a third pilot, necessarily, besides she's, you know, about as experienced as Esther is. So we might as well do this. Doesn't make a big difference. Um, as far as everything else goes, oh, pilots survive death. That could be good for me. <laughs> now let's see. What could we do? Pilots survive death plus self-destruct might be one of the most powerful combinations I think I could expect to have on this team. I'm thinking about it pretty seriously, guys. <laughs> like, imagine that on this mech. He's got the ability to make sure that he self-destructs, and we put the uh, medics, like, people don't die on this one. That's like, what? One mech reactor each, maybe? We have the ability to get three mech reactors, so as a result, we put another one on someone else. Probably on Abe. It might be exactly what we're looking for, but it's also just a desperation move. It is. Okay. Think about this more logically. The brew class that you have could use the ability to shove people out of the way. Default, like, the shrapnel's not great, I'll, like, grant you. But it's gotta be better than this. The other option is that we sell off another one of our pilots and that they pick up the self-destruct button. <laughs> um... I don't think so. Yeah, I really don't think so. Uh, I like this idea. It's, it's weird, it's wacky. What could possibly go wrong? So. We'll put the self-destruct onto Abe. It doesn't cost any additional. And we'll put the medical supplies onto... Our lightning mech. We'll spend some rep on some cores. Put one of the cores here to get medical supplies. Now our guys don't die. And then, um... Install, put it on HP and damage each. There we go. 
So now we have 5 HP on this mech. We have the ability to deal 3 damage with our unstable mech while only taking ourselves time to 1. And if we're about to die or we need to get rid of multiple high priority targets, self-destruct can be used to great effect. Let's leave the island with one of our pilots in tow and we're on to the second island. Okay. Oh, spiders. Ugh, it's gross. But it's better to do it early before they all become alphas, you know? And, like, we do have a Whippy Boy. Whippy Boy can deal with them. You know what? This is fine. Uh, the landfill. Destroy defend the disposal unit. Oh, it's the disposal unit again! Immediately sign me up! Immediately sign me up! Okay. Two very annoying leapers. And a partridge in a pear tree. We're just gonna have to hope that they don't jump on my artillery. That would be the end of things. We've also set ourselves up in a plus sign, so hopefully they, like, put themselves in a plus sign. That would be great. That's not a plus sign. That is. Alright, we need two turns to wipe out all the mountains. Um, ideally, I think, we spend the first turn getting rid of two of these jokers. We whip. What? We have to reset the turn. There's no way that that's... Ah! That's just not kosher. Okay. So here's the deal. If I whip this way, it's... It's... What? It hits the disposal unit. I'm so mad. Um... So here's one thing we can do. Easily enough. He's dead. We can't move far enough forward, are you serious? I will deal myself four damage. This is so dumb, game. I'm not losing Henry Kwan. Of that, I am positive. So if we have to use a couple of turns to repair, or we, if we have to suicide this guy next turn, in order to like have a good time, then fine. We'll do it. That spider is just... Atrocious. Oh my god. Now we do not have nanobots this time around. And I noticed there's going to be a lot more people next turn. So you know what? How many turns do we need? Two turns to get rid of all the uh, all the things? You know what? Do this. You can go here and then repair. Then you can go ahead and kill that by using the smoke. And you can go ahead and sit right here. Right where? Right... Right here. And now we can go ahead and focus on these mountains as much as possible. We don't have another option, unfortunately. Yeah, I'd be glad if we didn't have another spider pop up for a while, though, considering that those are rare units. <laughs> Okay, that's that's a problem. Um, we can kind of get a double whammy on that problem, though. Uh, so here's part one of that problem gone. I will kill myself if I shoot this thing. And we can't... Oh my god. The only way to stop this guy is to do this. Hold on. Yeah, get that kill. And then Abe's gonna kill himself? Is there a way I can kill myself productively? No. Drat. Alright, well we're down to like a tiny amount of damage this turn, unfortunately. It 
It sucks. But, uh, them's the brakes. Still, the good news is, he didn't die. We do have medical supplies. Now it's the last turn. We have to use it to destroy mountains if we want to get our perfect island. Is that possible? I think it is. I just found out that it's not. Like if you can get that kill, that's great and all. But now we can't actually get rid of this thing because it'll deal with the disposal unit. It'll kill it. So we can't kill that. Good thing is the Leaper's attacking something else. <sighs> Keeping a cool head. It's important. Emergency batteries are protected. Bethany will survive. You might as well just deal two damage here. And that was way too close. We lost, effectively, a pilot this round. And I don't want to have to lose another pilot again. So, yeah. How about them apples? Look, we only barely made it through that one. Despite the fact that we had a disposal unit. Holy crap. We spent the first two turns getting rid of stuff in order to make that disposal unit do what it was supposed to. The emergency medical supplies were able to save Abe Samara from the brink of death. Fantastic. And the extra reactor core is so worth it. Alright, so, uh, does that use this up? No, it doesn't. That's actually huge. We could go for another big one. Um, it's honestly kind of worth it if we can make it sing, but this is just going to be a tough from a, from a damage standpoint. We aren't going to have Abe deal himself for damage, which is a nice change of pace, but uh, keep this guy way in the back. Someplace where... Webs won't affect him, please, and thank you. Um, and one, two, three, four. We, yeah, we can cover the map with that. That's fine. Okay. But yeah, now Abe won't kill himself, hopefully. Or won't have to, anyway. Ooh, do you see this, though? Do you see this, though? Ah! <laughs> Get zapped! Alright, which then begs the question. How do we kill this dude? <laughs> um, the answer is we don't. I get the distinct feeling that we're going to want to cloud him instead. If I do this, it's not going to do nearly as much as you'd like it to. It's a shame you just can't move fast enough, my dude. But okay, fine. You take one damage this way. That doesn't bother me that much. So we still have to deal with the spider this turn. Which again is not perfect, but it'll do. Um, it should be killable next turn, is my hope. Alright, that's an easily whippable situation right there. And I will lose my shield to make that whip work. Like, hells to the yeah, we're doing this. My shields are down. It's kind of by design, don't worry about it. Blast him that way. Then you. Honestly, instead of attacking directly... Use the cloud. It'll kill him anyway. And then this way we have a cloud in front of that building and make it impossible for melee units to attack from that angle. That's fine. So, this is working. But it's missing just a little something something to really get it to tick. We're also taking a lot of mech damage. Which is, again, not ideal. You need to repair yourself this turn. And you can get a kill this turn. Okay. So we're dealing with three of them. We just have to make sure that we don't take two more mech damage and we'll be fine. Like we'll, we'll be able to keep up our, our perfect island. And the, the, I, I think we can. I think we can. We just have to go ahead and do the little train that could moment. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Speaking of I think I can. I mean, it's very easy to do another 2 mech damage to us. <laughs> if we stand here, and then we whip...
All right, it's three mag damage. Can we get the other kill? Yes, we can. Okay, and on a person that could use it too. Here, while you're at it, Abe, repair. We actually got through the entire mission without Abe having to self-destruct. Okay, that's good. Uh, keeping in mind that the self-destruct should be saved only for like the like the third turn when there's like no spawns for next turn and like a whole bunch of other garbage and yeah yeah yeah. Anyway, grid defense is going up passively, I might add, which is nice. Uh, and we're still keeping up in terms of corporate rep. Destroy the ass advance. This. This, for some strange reason, was very hard last time. We'll have to see whether or not we can pull it off again. So, again, I want to set up a situation where Whippy Boy can get his work done. Where, where, where can you move? You can leap too, right? That's what you do. I kind of have to hope this works. Oh good, it's the Time Pod. I'm not gonna lie, the Time Pod scares me. Because I know I want to go after it real bad. Duh. That's garbage, and you know it. Okay, if I whip this way, it kills off one of the acid bats and the spiders. The spider, will the spider explode though? It will not explode. It doesn't count. Okay. We have to reset the turn. I messed up. I messed up. That's my, that's on me. All right. So we still have this guy. He's alive. Maybe the spider isn't such a big deal. If I do it this way. Then I'll be taking a decent amount of damage, but I think I can manage it at this point. Then we move around the side, collect the pod, zap it for two, move here, and kill him. Okay, yeah, that'll have to do a lot better. The Scion is still alive, but the Scion is not a damaging unit. Now all of their damaging units have to spawn in from someplace else. That's fine. That's not so fine. Alright, how do I want to do this? If I whip, my dude will absolutely not die, actually. He could also self-destruct, but it's 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 just there's too many spawns coming up next turn. Look, this does a twofer. And that now I can move out of the way and repair. And we still need to deal with these acid vats. So I'm going to go ahead and take this free turn we have effectively to destroy that one. Okay, one more acid vat left to go. You're attacking there. That does not bother me. If you could all just surround this guy somehow, that would be probably ideal. Ah, that's not so good. None of that's really all that good, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, if I zap here, though, that does a lot of damage to everybody. Oh, goody! Yes, please! This is great! That's an amazing turn! <laughs> um, you're close to leveling up, so if you get this, if you get the skill, that would be great. Good stuff. Now I only want to deal with one of you jackasses this turn. So if you can please just not spawn anybody else and we can get a guaranteed kill. We protected the time out. It's just three. Okay. I'll be honest, I'm not sure how this works. But that would get the kill? You know what? Heck it, sure. A fitting way to die? Abe, that's disturbing. I really wish you wouldn't talk that way. Also, you're not going to die, we have medical supplies. Those, those resurrect 100% of the time, right? That's how that works? <laughs> I hope. Diminished vector activity in the region. Fantastic. Good job. Pod recovered. It's another reactor core. And you got another mech reactor on top of that. Okay. So with one additional mech reactor. And if I put in another one, we could have a four damage cannon. It's just not worth it. Um, if we do it this way, 
having additional move and health, this will be fine for now. Now, the extra reactor core, where could that go to be very helpful? I'm honestly looking at Quan right now. If his whip could deal more damage, that would be great. But uh, our rocket mech also needs to be able to deal three damage on one hit. Or f uh, potentially four, so that way you can knock people back and do five. It's, uh, it's going to be important. So, how about we do that? We increase the health for now. And then any additional reactor cores that we could buy, that'd be great. Um, let's see, perfect island. We could kill at least seven enemies, I'm pretty sure. And don't get me wrong. The heap gives us some corporate vec, is some corporate vec, some corporate rep that we could desperately use, but... Um, how easy is this gonna be? Actually, with an acid tank, we should have an easy time. It's just gonna be a matter of making sure that we don't, uh... Get our one friend vecked up by accident, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want to make sure... We want to we hope that the spider doesn't end up being a big problem in the long run. That's going to be a problem in the long run. I am not going to lie to you. Alright, is there a way to get a kill on this guy this turn? Why, yes. Yes, there is. Sign me up, baby! Boom! That's two kills. One of which was acid, so that's very nice. Um, you might as well hang out over here closer to the buildings. And then you might as well get this kill over here. Alright, so we need to go ahead. Take stock of the fact that we've only killed one person with acid right now. But that is a good start. Abe is close to death already, though. We want to make sure that he doesn't have to do that maneuver a second time. Alright, that's a very unfortunate place for you to be. Ah, not so unfortunate for you to be, unfortunately. Uh, can you move four? Yes, you can. That's huge. So how about you do that? Mm, we'll move here and then get the get the booty to make the booty go smack. Go over here, get a shot. Yeah, 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 this works. So we kill off a leaper that way. We're gonna make sure that you die, and then you turn around and then just zap kill this dude. Okay, great, awesome. That's two out of four. And we've put acid down on a space that they don't want us to be on. Another three vec. I will checkmate the crap out of you, you have no clue. Alright, so we do have a bit of a conundrum here. Uh, can you move fast enough to get to the other side of him? No. Otherwise, you're just killing yourself. Not ideal. If I'm being honest, this is a conundrum. But I think it's one that we can deal with. This counts as an acid enemy. We zap like this. Yep. You can repair for this turn. And you are going to go ahead and target a mountain. So you're lightly damaged. And you're also like at 1 HP and in a cloud and don't attack. Yeah, that works. Alright, so... Last turn. We have to make this one count. It's a lot of baddies this time around. Ooh, but it's not without some bonuses. Um, we should be able to get this one done. Honestly, this makes great sense to me. <laughs> it's dealing two damage to our own mech, but like triple kill um then move to the side and you might as well just get like a regular normal kill and have you still survive yeah that worked out great and then you might as well repair okay that was fine i was worried for a second but honestly that mission kind of went like clockwork also it's acid rain i just realized that kind of was falling down it's kind of weird all right here we are last two corporate rep that we need beetle leader is tough, but killable, I think. Um, honestly, if we can bait 
like a really strong attack on the beetle leader, we can just self-destruct and get like a million kills. But we don't want to do that too early either, because if we self-destruct and we're not surrounded by units, then it's going to be a bad time. Mm -hmm. I thought that something like that might happen. How much damage are you doing, anyway? You do three damage. It's quite a lot. Even if Abe was the one to tank it, it would hurt quite a lot. Um, let's see. What can Whippy Boy do? Whippy can go over here and slap. It's a lot of damage. And honestly, I would rather that Whippy went over here for a second. So... And then you could go... Yeah, this works. Okay, if we go here, and we blast the ground, it'll cancel the attack. We don't have to worry about him anymore. Whippy Boy goes off. Hoopa! That guy's dead. Then Abe gets this last shot over here, and gets a kill. Not bad. We've either disabled or killed everything on the field for this turn. And this guy did take at least one damage. Now, the spider is an issue. It's the only spider we're going to see in this round. But it is an issue. The good news is that it's an issue I can actually deal with. Because I can just whip whip like this. And that gets rid of the problem almost entirely. Uh, get the kill over there. Thank you. Then finally, but certainly not leastly, get the kill on this guy. Because three damage cannons are insane. Okay. Awesome work. I need to remember that that's a three damage cannon. I actually completely forgot. Okay. You got dibs on the leaper then. Oh goodness. Yeah, this makes the most sense. Uh, then explosion over there. Thank you. And then we'll move this guy over here to make it difficult for them to attack. That's fantastic. Now, this next turn, we can self-destruct if we need to. If the opportunity presents itself and it's a good... Uh, and it's, like, an excellent opportunity, I would gladly do it. But it's not necessary. Like, entirely unnecessary. Boom. Dead. Boom. Dead. Boom, dead. They don't have anybody on the field. That's our perfect island. I don't know if we could have asked for anything better than that. On This is what it happens when it feels like it's a sunny day out. I'm kissed by the sun. Camilla Vera. Unaffected by webbing and smoke. Particularly nice, except for the grid defense part. Heavy artillery. Damage two, uses per battle, just one. Still, damaging in an area for that much is pretty stellar. Like, really good. It's probably worth giving up on the whole self-destruct nonsense. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. So, storm generator. We can put that elsewhere now. Because I want to give you the heavy artillery as well. The heavy artillery will do the same amount of damage, but because of the AoE, it's just stupendous. Uh, we'll put the smoke damage instead here. And although the medical supply and the medical supplies now are no longer entirely necessary as a result, so we can sell them as well. So effectively, we've got one, two, three extra. We could go up to twelve. Shield array, not perfect. Micro artillery, um, maybe not. Boosters can be handy in the right situation. Heat converter. It's not terrible. That's the most I can say about it, though. Uh, let's start off with three reactor cores, because I know I want them. I could easily put one in here for the additional use. And I can put another two in here for the additional damage, and I don't- I would not be sad about that. Um, you could use one. At the very least for Storm Generator, because that's gonna make- that's gonna keep our rocket our artillery much happier. Uh, and I did say I needed more damage, and soon, right? Like, honestly, Henry Kwan's the only one that's not capable of dealing 
three damage and have it like really matter all the time. The electric whip is nice, but it needs a little bit more pump it up kind of reputation for it. Pump it up and jam. How about we do the trade in for the medical supplies? Ah, it's not worth it yet. I don't think it's worth it yet. Leave Island. I was going to say, if we can do the trade-in for the medical supplies, we can do some nasty work on them. But All right, this is a fairly weak island. Even with the extra HP guy, the blobber is not as big a deal. So we're definitely doing this. Archive Inc. Restoration Center seems like a great start. That gives us the best leg up in terms of getting to this uh, extra reactor core, which we could desperately use. Um, I'm going to commit to giving Henry Kwan as much as possible in terms of the uh, power cores to get that extra damage up. That plus one damage can be the difference between getting a lot of kills and getting not enough. So, Restoration Center. We have to defend the tanks. Shit, I should have read the mission report. Um, okay. This will have to do. I'm going to try to bait a blobber attack here. Rather than over here, as much as I can. Thank you. Okay. The blobber there is an issue. Of that I cannot say otherwise. That is just the point. Um, are you both attacking the same tank? You're both attacking the tank? That's kind of garbage. Okay, the only way to stop that, really... ...is to launch a cannon... ...then get a good whip. Yeah, let's, let's start off with the whip. Maybe I shouldn't have started off with the whip. Getting another good cannon. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright, so. No one's attacking my tanks this turn. No, sir. We're going to have to be a little bit more careful about Bethany Jones now, because she's without a shield. But we have two very low HP units. One of Two of which will be killable as soon as we get rid of this guy right here. I really wish you wouldn't do that, though. All of that sucks. Look, if I attack here, what happens? We lose our tank, guaranteed. Uh, if I attack like this, that does a decent number on this guy. Here, under the move. You really can't do anything this turn, can you? Honestly, your best bet is to move to the side and block a spawn. And then yours... I don't know what I can do to you. If I move you there... Here, undo move. Is there any way that I can attack him alone? Not... Not seemingly, no. Here, reset the turn. Maybe I didn't see something here that I should have... Like, I go over here, and I get the this grouping of kills. What does that turn into? If I kill him alone, it kills off at least one of these guys. Allows this guy to maneuver his way in. If I attack in any direction here, it goes all the way around the circle. Which kills off our tank, which we kind of want for the perfect island. I, I don't want to give up on this island. If I shoot like this, it does three damage, putting him down to two. Oof, this is like this in particular is a massive nasty problem. If I do the initial shot and get this double kill, that kills him and knocks him low. It still doesn't break this link, though. And that is an issue. And 
what would happen if I used the heavy artillery here, anyway? It would honestly get kills on people that don't need to die? <laughs> like, this guy's already dead. You're the issue here. If I have your artillery like this, it'll get the four kills I need. That's actually really solid. But I can almost do the same thing without wasting that just by doing this. In fact, it gets four kills and the blobber. Three kills in the blobber. Yeah, that's just way better. Do that. I am unsure as to what to do with this. Uh, Whippy Boy can't do anything here without killing that tank. And there's no way I can kill this thing here with the heavy artillery without doing something nasty to either, huh? Doing a bunch of damage to myself does not seem wise. Also because he's an alpha, he'll be knocking down that building. You know what? It sucks. But I don't think we have much choice. I think we just get Whippy Boy to move out of the way and block the spawn. We'll take the two grid power damage and we'll move on. We've got a lot of grid power and 26 grid defense isn't insignificant. It's not enough though. So we blocked. Next turn, he's gonna just do that. Yeah, okay, you do you, buddy. We're gonna have a lot of spawns on this next turn, and that kinda stinks. But we can deal with it. Our tanks are now active at long last. Holy cow. Um, you move over here, you move over here and repair. You stay over here and repair. And you set up behind everything else. Like, actually, you know what? You just set up there and have a good time. Um... We're done for this turn. So with the tanks actually active, this turn should be an easy one. We technically speaking have five units on the field. We just need to use them. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I can see some of the problems that might arise from me saying what I just said. Uh, if I whip here, you get a kill and liberate him to actually move somewhere else and get a kill, which might be nice. Um... move out of the way. It's not going to do enough to get a kill anywhere. I'm trying to see if I can't get, like, kills. Just in general. Can I? Is it possible? Not really easily, no. Um, but I can shove people out of the way, which is something I'm particularly good at. So, with that said, what can I do here? I can do one damage. Mm, it's something. Um... You're already in a weird spot, so... Might as well. Okay. Uh, and you can just repair. Look, we saved the tanks. We didn't get all the kills that we wanted, but we managed to accomplish the objectives. That's what I have to keep in mind with these things. It's not necessarily about making sure that everything's perfect in every mission. That's not always going to be possible. But at the very least, we did a good job with that one. Of accomplishing all the objectives. Defending the train. I get, oh. With our setup? That's not, that's not good, actually. That will get us killed. The satellite launches are also particularly lethal. They have made it not easy. Look, we might not defend the train, but we'll get the extra, like, stuff that we need. It'll, it'll make up for the fact that we're not getting our perfect island. I'll be honest with you, I don't think that's happening. So. I think this is our best setup. Yep, that was correct. So, this does a couple of things, what we got going on. First and foremost, we can do a lot of damage to him. Secondly, you can kill him. What we need to do is kill that guy, though.
And that guy? We kind of need to kill every guy. Uh, what happens if I whip? Whip will do a lot of damage. And although it'll get rid of the shield, I think it's worth it, actually. Okay, that set things up nicely. For us to be able to move around to the side. Where can you go right now? You cannot get rid of this leaper. So we need to move here to get rid of the leaper. And you need to straight up just die. So you will. This leaves the spider for next turn. Oh wait, no, sorry. The blobber for next turn, but I think we can deal with the blobber. I do believe it is in fact highly possible to deal with the blobber. The trick is killing this joker. Alright, um... That will deal us enough damage that I'm a little worried for next turn. But it doesn't matter if we die in the process, we'll just come back because we still have the heals on uh, Henry Kwan, I believe. Yeah, we still do. Um... So I guess we can whip him. Kill the Blobber with you. And honestly, I like to do it with the Cloud because then that way it just disappears and I don't have to worry about it any longer. Um, but we can't do that without Whippy Boy hitting you, huh? Fine. Whippy Boy goes over here. Whips this. You get that kill. Or almost get that kill. Since the Scion's not going this turn, we'll let the Scion exist for another turn. The Blobber is far more frustrating to have to deal with. Alright, we're down to our last HP on this dude. These two Jokers have just spawned. And we have a very unfortunate situation that our Whippy Boy cannot whip. You might notice that he's attacking the train if he does. So this turns pretty much entirely on the other two to stop this. Uh, and maybe set things up so that way Whippy Boy can maybe get a double kill or something handy. I'm gonna go ahead, just blast you away. It's not a death. It's just a new beginning. Um, and if we move here and then whip, it at least gets one kill. Look, it's not perfect. But at least it's something. And we do manage to protect the train. I honestly thought this was going to go a lot worse. And it almost did. <laughs> that Scion was just in a weird spot. And that train, I can't whip it. Makes me sad. It's a good thing we had other tools. The emergency medical supplies were able to save Abius and Maro from the brink of death yet again. Look at that. Ooh, plus one damage each. I can make that a four damage cannon. But honestly, I should just be trying to plug more into... Uh, Like, honestly, the rocket mech would be a great place to do it. We have barely used the heavy artillery, by the way. I'm just, like, noticing. Um, that's an issue. Like, what's going to be more helpful? One whippy boy who does two damage kind of all over the place, or three damage all over the place, and maybe kills his own friends every once in a while? Or one rocket that can deal four damage or three damage in a massive AoE? Do we have the slots? One, two, three, four, five, six. If we plug every single possible Beck reactor into Bethany Jones, she might actually be able to pull it off. So how about we start with that then? I'm going to remove the HP in this case. I'm going to add the damage to her rocket artillery. So that way she can do three damage. That is going to be very nice. We can now deal uh, eight damage in one turn. That's, that's a boss kill. That's very nice. All right. Uh, hometown. End the battle with less than four mech damage. Ugh. Block the Vex spawning three times, a bit more possible, but not by much. Research Center, defend the satellite launches. We've already been over this, that's tough. But it is our best way to kind of deal with the rest of them, so we're going to give it a shot. Um, this is really unfortunate. They're all very close together in a weird kind of way. And since satellites are not buildings, if we chain to them, it's going to be a nasty business. Do 
Okay. That will kill off our own satellites if we whip. Yeah, this is a mistake. That will also kill off the satellites? Okay, I don't know what to tell you, Whippy Boy, but it seems like your uh, your usefulness has come to a bit of an end here. Um, this blobber's only going to do one. That's something we can actually afford to lose. How much are you doing? Two each. Officially annoyed. Um... If only you had a different weapon. If only I had listened to myself. So that kills the blobber, but then the blob is still alive. We don't really have a means of attacking anyone else other than you, who is a non-essential person. Um... It just so happens you're in a weird spot at a weird time. This blob is such an issue. Like, I can't actually do anything with this blob in the way. It's that bad. Um... I think we just have to forego our perfect island. Like, this is the only way that we can do this. I am annoyed as hell, but okay. So, here we are. One of the satellites are gone already, but we can kill off most of the very offensive people this turn. We still have our time pod up and running. And we at least have an area now that Whippy Boy can attack in. There are just some things you can't deal with. And this, unfortunately, was one of them. We have to protect that time pod. Ah! That chain's all the way over there. Undo move. So this corpse still acts as a lightning rod. That's something else. Um, I really don't want to afford... Like, I really can't afford to take any more like uh, power grid damage. So you know what? Yeah, sure, that works. That allows Abe to move to the other side and get the kill. It allows you to just use the cloud the other way. I'm not happy with how this is turning out, but we will protect this time pod, and we will get this second satellite launch, I swear on anything. Oh, good grief. Another turn, where we have to use Abe to do his thing, and you're stuck there, you piece of garbage. Okay. Even if I put you at one, it's not going to be enough, is it? Abe will die this round. You know what? It's just gonna have to be okay. Because they're not gonna get any spawns this turn. Oh wait, no, they're gonna get one spawn this turn. And at least it's priming? Ah! It's dealable with, though. Will that thing just launch already? Wouldn't that be nice? Ugh. It's gonna blow it. The time pod will blow up. We will collect the time pod. We will zap. We will rely on the medical supplies to do their job. But this is just dumb. So, medical supplies are great. I'm just going to put that out right now. This team has played self-destructive and it's sort of working. <sighs> Alright, we got a new pilot as well who we're just going to likely sell. So, it's very lucky... 
I feel that we managed to pick up this medical supplies pickup when we did. It's been nothing if not astounding. Uh, we could have a flying mech, but it wouldn't really be a good move because Prospero not only takes up power, but the only thing he's got going for him right now is grid defense, and that's not something I'd like to bank on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do one more mission then. End the battle with less than four mech damage, block the vex spawning three times, another one with block le less than four mech damage, and then protecting the coal plant with air support. I think that it would be in our best interest to get as much power grid as possible, while also simultaneously getting as much corporate rep as possible. We're not getting a perfect island after that last mission, unfortunately. Um, let's see what we can do about that mech damage issue, huh? Besides, tidal islands, it should be fine, right? Um, let's keep you hiding here, and let's keep you over here. Oh, hello, phone. What are you blasting about? Woo! Okay, sweet, I got texts from people. You know, it's not often that I get to think I'm popular, but uh, when you occasionally get a text from people, it does feel nice. Even if you don't respond immediately. Oh, okay. You're dead. You still need to die, and you are a problem. Okay. What happens if I whip? I mean... A lot of stuff happens. <laughs> I would rather that there was less of that stuff happening. Um, here, how about you start by getting a kill on this guy? It'll leave you a bit waterlogged. But now if I whip, it doesn't affect the shielded lady, which is important. It also gets rid of all those rocks. Okay, great. Uh, we've taken two mech damage this round, but it should be fine. How about we just get this launch kill right now, so that way Bethany Jones gets that experience directly? Okay, we need to make sure that Abe doesn't take much more damage. That blob, though. I am disappointed in you, game. Um, <laughs> I could just sit there and repair. Um, if I go here and use the cloud, it's an option. And then what happens if I whip? Um, it does damage kind of everywhere. Including my own dude. Uh... Here, undo that move, undo that move. Now what happens if I whip? Goody, that's what I'm looking for. So let's do that. Get this guy right up here. Now I could kill the blobber. I will kill the blobber, putting me at three mech damage, which is not ideal. And have you moved? You have not. You have moved. Okay, but the cloud will go first, I expect. So the attack's been cancelled. It'll die due to the storm. And okay, three more spawns. We want to make sure that we try to get this corporate rep if we can. We can get the relative effects of a, of a good island if we manage it, which would be nice. Uh, what happens if I just launch? You both die, huh? That's really good. But we don't have anybody to shove him into the drink then. What happens if I whip? I don't like this. <laughs> like, if I land this, we've taken four mech damage. <laughs> I hate this so much. Okay, look, you need to go ahead and do this. And then we don't have any other push. You know what we need? This guy needs a push. If he can get a push, that would be, like, the best thing ever. Um, it's just a shame that this Scarab Beetle is not shovelable, really. I mean, he is. Okay, hold on. Undo that last move. How do we want to do this? I'd like Bethany to at least get a kill. If we're not going to get our perfect island, so be it. But let's at least get some kills for Beth here. Um, doesn't matter either way. This should get her maxed out level regardless. Now, uh, do I want to take that much grid damage? The answer is no. So get out of my island. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to succeed in our one objective. But you know what? They're called bonus objectives for a reason. They're bonus. They're a nice plus. They're not a necessity. The engineer teams have more than enough on their plates already. Well, I'm sorry, princess. Okay. Prime Spear. That's exactly what we were asking about earlier. Plus two mech HP is really good. Okay. So, Prime Spear. 
supersedes medical supplies. We have yet to use heavy artillery even once. So I can remove this. Oh my god, I can have so much additional health. Um, requires two power. Let's power it up. Stab multiple tiles and push the furthest hit tile. Nice. Acid tip. Adds acid to the furthest enemy. Ooh. That's really tempting. Additional acid would be massive. On so many levels, I don't even know where to start. Um. Yeah, we install that core right here. We give that acid tip to, the, uh, to our friend. Now, with that said... Is this going to be enough to make up for the fact that Electric Whip is likely to kill our own friends? Like, right now, without this medical supplies nonsense, we are going to have a very tough time. I honestly think that this is the right decision. Like, Heavy Artillery has not been working out for us the way, the way that I expected it to. At all. Like, I could equip it onto uh, Quan here, so that he's got a ranged weapon. That's a weird thing to do, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Alright, power available. More HP seems reasonable. Uh, more HP, because we have nothing else better to do, I suppose. And I know the Prime Spear is really good. Being able to push people around is is nice as all get out, but having an having a ranged attack on this guy would be very handy as well. Um, yeah, let's give this a shot. I think this could work. Now we have to kill the goo. The goo is definitely a problem, but not one that we can't handle. I don't think it it should be relatively simple. The whip in particular will be very helpful against it, um, seeing as it'll do half of the damage it needs to automatically anyway. I am not so sure about that guy's placement. That's garbage. Um, is this a turn for it? It is not the turn for it. Um, okay. How do I want to do this one? You are killable by either one of our ranged units. If I go over here and I do it, then we've got a cloud that deals damage. Covering this, and that's actually great. Who goes first? The blob does, then you. You're gonna deal three. I think that this is a more than useful application of our abilities. Now, I could deal damage to you. But currently, you're going to be attacking your blob boss. And I kind of like that idea, as well as blocking a spawn this turn. So how about I don't and say that I did. Nice. Alright, now to get rid now to see what else we can do. Um, interesting situation shaping up over here, and a lot of different me- Oh, jeez, oh man. Um, we actually have an excellent blobbing target. It's just- ugh. I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't feel great, but I think it's our best shot. We can move over here, and then zap, which kills off the other two. And before any of that happens, I would like to make sure that this dude is as dead as it gets, just in case. Okay, yeah, you're gonna land on fire? That's perfect. You do this. Ooh, 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 interesting. Okay, so that's dead. They got two more spawns coming in. This goo's dead as of next turn. We got three left to go. Um, this is gonna be weird. But I think it's more than doable. Okay, Alpha Beetle Digger dude is not a happy time. Ah! You put yourself in weird places and I don't like it! Alright, I know that if I move here, suddenly, my dreams come true. And I love it when that happens. <laughs> that is so much good damage. Yeah, I'd be dumb not to. That was amazing. I... That felt great. Okay. Get a kill here. Oh, not a kill there. Sorry. Get a kill here instead. Ah, it's not enough. Reset the turn. We need to rethink this. As much as I'd like to just bridge this gap and 
heal, you know, get everything all set up. We need to think about this guy in a very real way. But how? Like, I don't think there is actually a way to stop that from happening. Yeah, you know what? This was still the right move. In the long run, this was still the correct move. Get the zap off. Now, you're currently attacking only one grid power? I think we sacrificed the one grid power, because if we smack you with this rocket, you'll be doing two. And I'd rather just kill you instead. Since you're not spawning anything, we'll be able to get an easy kill next turn. And, yeah, this will have to do. Now, ideally, we would get a resist there, and with 26% you'd think that it was possible, but... Okay, 4 HP. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you, you're gonna not enjoy this. And then what does Henry Kwan do? Henry Kwan laughs. And launches rockets, because he can. I'm not gonna lie, those rockets are interesting. Um, I probably could have used... Like, I would like to use them to better effect, but if there is... Maybe a better uh, weapon... For us, then that would be ideal. Uh, let's see what we can put on here. Astro bombs. Leap over any distance, dropping a bomb on each tile that you pass and allows you to do damage. Okay. Artemis artillery. We know that that's pretty sweet. Spartan shield. Okay. Good single target damage. Easy to upgrade. Makes him a tanky sucker. I like it. Um, this might be the time that we go all out and get, like, all the items. So, heavy artillery has not been great for us. Um, we are not using self-destruct really anymore. But since the entire team doesn't create storm generator effects all the time, it might be a good idea to get rid of storm generator at this, at this junction. Like, we're at the three island mark, this is fine. Uh, if we get rid of storm generator, then we at least have the ability to do a self-destruct on a turn, and that would be fine. And also, heavy artillery is just not helping us at all. Um, think about this. Think it. Think it. Think it. Think. 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 Okay, I've thought it out. We don't need heavy artillery after all. Goodbye. Let's get rid of both of our uh, extra pilots. I'm buying the Titan Fist. And the reason why is because it's excellent single target damage and push, which is the one thing that we need this guy to do more often. So... Power of the weapon. Dash is up and running. Uh, and if we install... Some extra cores... Speaking of which, three cores... If we install some extra cores, we can get this guy to do 4 damage. He can do 3 damage, and she can do 3 damage. And that's all pretty good, if I'm being honest. I think this will work. Now, as far as the rest of these weapons and everything go, it's 2 extra reputation, and since we're not going to be using it anywhere else... Might as well get rid of both of them. Grab the two grid power that it comes with. And we are now as well off as we possibly can be for this three island victory. I have to hope that since we dealt with spiders and blobbers already, we can deal with these ones as two. But I am just a little worried. Um, let's try this out. There, There is a very high chance we lose this. I have lost on the last mission so many times recently with these random missions. Just because of the fact that we don't have... We're not as well-rounded as we need to be to handle all the challenges that this final mission throws at you most of the time. Uh, I had a stream where I lost like 15, <laughs> not 15, but like four times in a row due to like what felt like garbage, honestly. <sighs> that's, that's some shit right there. Um, what are you doing? You're attacking there? You're not attacking at all? We could whip to deal each of these guys a lot of damage. 
But that's not good enough. What we need these guys to do now is actually move people off of targets while simultaneously dealing the damage that they need to. You in particular needs to move. So, how about I go all the way back here and go for a four damage punch. That's a good start. If we sacrifice this to the blob, then we can actually do something here. I could shove you off. That does do some damage, actually. Um, yeah, and then you can block a spawn while you're at it. Thank, thank you, I appreciate that. Then you. Honestly, I think that's as good as that's gonna get. We really can't do anything else. We don't have a, we don't have enough stuff. If we had bought, if we have got, if we had gotten the like regular artillery cannon on this artillery, we would have maybe maybe been able to do some different kind of moves, some shoving all over the place or whatever. But that's gonna be two grid power at the beginning. I don't want to lose another one this round if I can afford not to. If that blobber just stays there, that'd be ideal. You're already dead. And that blobber did not stay where he was supposed to. That's not cool. Also, our artillery's in a bad spot. What happens if we whip? Holy shit! Um, with that in mind... I think we back off here. And we go for a kill on this guy. Now, I said, if I do this whip... It does a lot of damage. Is there a way I can move out of the way of the whip so that way... Yeah, that, that, that's a little better. I kind of need him there to do the whip, so... Yeah, this this works. Um, don't cry for me, Argentina. Okay. Good stuff. We managed to get a lot of kills there. And I have to attribute that mostly to the fact that Whippy Boy has the Titan Fist, and the Titan Fist is ridiculous. Everything died that turn. So, we've got one spawn to deal with this turn, and if we're good about it... Okay, we're only gonna... Whew, whew. Nice last turn, honestly. We knock him off. He's now all the way over there. We sit this guy all the way over here. Repair. And then, like, we get set up to do a dash punch. But we don't actually need to do one. Yeah, we can just sit here and take it easy. We're blocking two spawns. And one of our power pylons is going to be totally fine. So I think that we've got this mission in the bag if this keeps up. If we can manage to continue this level of, uh, of play on these jokers, we should be totally okay. Now, I'm a little upset with this situation that's shown up. Who goes first? The scorpion does. Um, how much HP do you have? Two? That's fine. Blast him. Then move out of the way of that, because you have to anyway, and then get the shot and get the kill. Perfect. Alright, so, now we get to the second phase of this final fight, and the end, really, of this uh, of this whole order, like this whole uh, ordeal. I was about to say hors d'oeuvre, which is but not exactly an ordeal. <laughs> okay, fireflies. Fireflies as far as the eye can see, and one beetle lord. Okay, that's all stuff I can deal with. Um, it'll be what, like when the blobber shows up, that's gonna be when we have problems. So how are we going to deal with all this, I wonder? Now, I want to make it abundantly clear. We got very lucky with pilot pickups. Um, Abe makes this tank viable, really, on so many levels. Okay, spawn here? No, no. Okay, spawn there instead. All right. This boss firefly is an issue. My god, what I would love to do to you. Um, if I move here, and I blast him here, he gets shoved onto this, he blocks this, and then he smacks him for a lot of damage as well. That's actually a really good play. Then it just leaves you two to have to deal with. Um, I 
And it's the boss that goes first, huh? I'm trying to think of what I could do. Like, I can't dash punch him. That's just not an option. We could try killing him and sacrificing two of our power grid to make it work. But that puts us dangerously low. You know what? No, no, no. This is fine. We'll lose one power grid in the process and a lot of HP on Abe. But watch this nonsense right here. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be great. Okay, then you do this. All right, so we've got two spawns. Um, that are, no wait, no, this one's gonna charge off. I was gonna say two spawns that are blocked. Uh, but we have one spawn that's blocked by one of our dudes. So the tentacles next turn are going to eliminate one of the spawn points, which is handy as hell for us. Um, rocks don't fall on anybody, which is, I guess, fine. And we get two more spawns. Ah, the Blobber! Okay, the Blobber actually gives us an option here. Now, if we smack here, small problem, it's gonna whip our own Renfield Bomb. I don't feel great about that, although it does get us a kill, which is pretty sweet. Definitely, no, 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 that's the wrong button. Undo move. Uh, what else can we do? We can Artillery Shot you into him. artillery shot you into him and kill you that way like kill one of them this way at least look way I see it if I don't do this Renfield bomb takes three damage right right so we're doing this Renfield bombs low but it's manageable if I get this shot it does a decent amount of damage, but that's about it. If I do this shot... It'll knock him out of the way, but then we take two. I don't want to take two! Um, and none of them are really close to lava. Like, it's just... It's awkward without the right artillery units maneuvering around and doing this kind of thing. Um, this won't do enough damage to get a kill. That much I know. But it will do enough damage that the next turn... Somebody's gonna get hurt real bad. Like I can easily kill both of you this way. Sure. We're gonna take another two grid damage, which is bad. I wanna make that abundantly clear. We're at lethal now, and there's nothing like we really could have done about that either. But this does open up the map a bit more. We have more options this way. Rocks fall on the party there, huh? Ah, this game is being a pain. Okay, if I stand here and I whip, I'll get the triple kill of my dreams at the cost of this Renfield bomb. I can't afford to do that. What can Wimpy Boy do then? <sighs> okay, it looks like we're gonna be down to the last couple of turns. There's not much I can do about that either. If I move out of the way and block this, and kill off the Scion, then we don't have to worry about the Scion killing off our guys this way. Great. You need to die, and the Whippy Boy is the only one that can do it easily. We do have a dash punch too, though. Don't, like, don't think that there's only one way out of this.
None of this smells good. I think we have to sacrifice this Renfield bomb. In light of that... You get this. You put us down at one? Now, we're gonna do it this way. The problem is if we do it that way... Ah! Reset the turn. There's gotta be some other way! The game would not just consider to screw me like this, would it? Okay, hold on. Here's another hot take. There we go. Now we don't have to deal with either of those two. How far can you move? You can move right up here. Oh, amazing. Except for the fact that it does this one damage anyway. Ah. Look, the bomb's done. What I'm trying to do now is figure out what is the best way to get the kills that we need. And this is probably it. So we're going to have to sacrifice the Renfield bomb. It's bad. But at least we don't lose yet. We have another four turns. Oh my god. This is painful. And none of them are standing where I need them to be to make this work. Um, okay. Is there any two furs I can pull off? My god. Now without getting myself killed. Um this is an easy way to kill him. But I don't see it. I just I don't see the plans. Our la our tank is about to die. And there's nothing we can do about it cuz he just deals his own damage to himself. If this was the last turn, we'd be fine. I can't believe it. We died this far in. <sighs> I can't say I'm surprised. Upset, maybe, but surprised? Eh. Not so much. Yeah, I don't see any other way, unfortunately, so yeah. Yeah, we're gonna sit ourselves here. We're gonna knock him off. He's done. Either we're counting on a reset, or we sacrifice our own dude to make this work. Look, I'm not gonna lie, there's no other way. i gonna have to rely on a 26% chance to live, and if we lose, we lose. It's that simple. Hard mode random is difficult, it turns out. And we lose. Ooh, we're alive still, but we've got two mechs to deal with how many of these jokers, excuse me? I have to ask, who decided this was fair? Alright, well now we've lost, okay? I get it. Yeah, we, we've lost unbelievably hard. I don't even know where to start. Um, Where are you attacking anyway? Yeah, you're attacking the same thing. Yeah, we're done here. Okay, well that's uh, that's that one done. And then um, yeah, this Renfield bomb was a turn off. Want to make that abundantly clear? One turn was all that required. And here we are. We have to get three lucky resists to pull this one off. It's just not happening. 
I am disappointed in myself, but mostly in this game for dicking me out this hard at the last mission. We tried so hard and just we didn't have the right weapons to actually get through all of this. I am very upset. <sighs> okay, look, maybe it's my reliance on Henry Kwan. Let's 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 do something else next time. You know who we do need to win on? And maybe not a three island win, but we need we still need to win with Frozen Titans. And what a better way to do that than to practically cheat. But that's for next time. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below. And if you want to see some more, uh, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of when these videos go up. But for now, that's it from me. I'll see you folks next time. God, I need to win sometime soon. I'm losing everything in every game ever.